Good evening and salutations, my Days of Elias fans. So, before we get started, um, tomorrow I have a dentist appointment, and depending on how I feel as far as my pain level, and as far as, well, first of all, if I don't really have a lot of pain, um, I'm pretty much just going to have to wait until the Novocaine wears off. Um, so my review may be coming a little bit later than, you know, the usual. Um, not too late, not like last not late. I mean, last night, kind of late, but, um, you know, a little bit later than usual. Um, and that's past 12 o'clock because my dentist appointment is from like 10 to like whatever. Um, but if I'm in a lot of pain, then yeah. I'm probably going to have to wind up doing it the next day. But, um, we'll see. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be fine. I should be fine. And, um, everything be business as usual. So, with that being said, um, you know what? Let's, let, yeah, let's start with Gwen. What the hell is wrong with this woman? You know, it's been, what are we on, like, three months now? And she's been plotting this revenge because of reasons that's beyond our comprehension. That for whatever odd reason, the writers don't want to tell us, give us a hint, a clue, anything. You know, at one point, I almost felt like she was going to say something towards the end. Um, but yeah, you know, she's sitting there on the phone talking about, you know, bragging about how she's taking down Abby because reasons. Um... You know, she's, she's destroyed their, you know, she's all like, oh, I destroyed her, her life with her father and mother and yada, yada, yada. Um, particularly her father. She was like, I destroyed her relationship with her father. I'm like, okay, sweetheart, sure. And then, you know, she's like, well, the next plan is to, um, you know, take away her husband or whatever. And I was like, uh, okay. So, um... She's talking to herself in the park, because, you know, at this point, I don't even really care. Um, she's saying her plan out loud, and then Abby literally appears out of, like, Batman, and I'm like, you didn't hear a word what she just said, did you? No, because <laughs> that would be too easy. So, they start talking, and, um... They're talking about stuff I don't really remember, but, um, Jack comes over. Jack comes, Jack comes to the park, and they start talking. They're all, like, very chummy. And at first, the minute that Jack walks in, she's all, um, Gwen is all like, oh, well, you, you, you shouldn't be upset with Abby. It's not her fault, and yada, yada, yada. You know, just really ready to, you know, play the next part in her stupid plan or whatever. Um... Well, I mean, let's be honest, it's not that the plan is stupid, it's just her reasonings are just dumb to me, because I don't know why. But, um, you know, she's all part of, you know, part of her plan or whatever, and then, you know, Jack was like, no, I, I know, and that's why, you know, I, I really couldn't stay upset with her, and we, we kind of hash things out, and we're, we're good, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do some puzzles, and, you know, just, just have a great time, you know, we're gonna go back to the house. Sounds good to you, so... They, you know, Abby's like, so you can, you can kind of just pick up around here, right? Like, you good? Like, we're, we're just going to take the kids back and you good? And so they walk off and, you know, Gwen has the dumbest look on her face the minute she finds out that part of her plan doesn't work. So, I'm not going to lie, I was, was really kind of happy about that. Um, of course, that's not going to last, but um, then when they leave... Gwen takes one of, I guess, um, Abby's ch children's bats and just starts going to town and throwing a temper tantrum like some 12-year-old child. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. She's like yelling in the park like a crazy person. And I'm just sitting there thinking, you know, let's not get it. They're rich. But, like, that's his toy. And you're just banging it up because... Um, I'm really 
you're trying not to curse, but Jesus Christ, this woman just... I... I don't know. I mean, I know I'm just not going to sit there and say all the curse words, but you can kind of fill in the blanks. Um, but yeah, she sat there swinging the plastic baseball bat like a nut job. And then um, Jennifer, you know, shows up at the park and she's just like, she just has that look on her face like, what the hell are you doing? Now, earlier, Jennifer was, you know, laying down because she had a hangover. And I laughed because, well, that's what happens when you drink too much. Um, you know, and now I'm sitting to think about it. I was like, I, I want, here's the thing, I, you know what, no, I'm sticking to it. I'm laughing at her. I want to feel bad for her because I know exactly what that's like to actually have a hangover. Um, but I'm just like, you did this out of some sort of, like, payback, like, and here's the thing, it's not that I don't get it. I understand what she's coming back to some extent, but I'm just like, that is so immature. I mean, listen, if y'all was like in y'all early 20s, teens or whatever, okay, fine. Even like 30s may be fine, but y'all, your grandparents, what, what are y'all doing? Like, are you... So anyway, um, she's talking to Julie, and, and you know, Julie walks over, and Julie's like, oh, you got a hangover. I'm not going to lie, I, I did kind of laugh my ass off a little bit. Because with Julie, you, you just, I feel like for me, you, you just, you don't know, you know. I don't know one minute if she's actually going to be, like, sincere and nice and just, you know, spot on about things, or is she just going to be an annoying dingbat? It's just like, I just, I don't know. And maybe I just caught her on her off days. So, I don't know. But, um, you know, she was not there talking to, um, she, Jennifer was not there talking to, um, Julie, and she was all like, oh, well, you know, those men like me, and I felt desirable, and I felt like I still had it. And I'm like, whoa. Are we actually still talking about Jack? Because the whole, you know, I want to make sure I still had it and, you know, it was nice to get attention and stuff. I'm like, um, this, this, this sounds more than just like, you know, him cheating on you a year ago. This, this seems like, I mean, granted, and, and I could be wrong, but that seems more like the dude has not been paying attention to you and, um, giving you that, um, that, that attention, um, I, I mean, I don't know, I mean, those complaints sound like they were just completely sidestep, like a side story from what he actually did, but, um, yeah, and then, you know, she goes to the park and, you know, me Gwyneth acting like a 12-year-old child just throwing a temper tantrum, so, you know, there's that. Uh, and let's talk about, since we're on that subject, let's talk about, um, Jack and Justin. There's a lot of J names in this, in the show. Um, so they're just hanging out, eating breakfast or whatever, and, you know, talking about what, what happened the day before with those men or whatever, and then, um, and then Bonnie comes over and she acts annoying, I'm not gonna lie. She acts annoying, and she's all like, oh, well, you know, Jennifer was a wild woman, and she makes up this story, and, you know, at first, Justin's like, hey, don't, don't, don't tell the story. I mean, whatever that story is, keep it to yourself. I'm like, and I'm like, good, good, we don't have to hear this, we don't have to hear the story. And Jack is like, no, I want to hear the story. First of all, I didn't really want to hear that story, but second of all, um... I actually had to sit there and hear more of Bonnie, and that's just, that's just never, that's just never fun. So she goes on this story, makes them all jealous, and then at the end, she's all like, Oh, I faked it, ha, 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 I just want to see the look on your face. I'm like, I'm like, you too? Anyway, um, since she decided to act like a schoolgirl for some odd reason, um, Jack eventually left, and then Justin and Jack, I mean, Justin and Bonnie start talking, and 
At first, Bonnie was upset because Justin didn't call him. I mean, Justin didn't call her for that date, that dinner that they were planning on doing, whatever. And then Justin was like, you know, I was going away for a month and, you know, to go see the, the boys or whatever. And, you know, this is when Bonnie was like, you didn't have a cell phone? And, you know, Justin was like, oh, well, I wanted to surprise you. Now, to be fair, to be fair, she, as annoying as this woman come across, she did have a point, you know? Because Justin was all like, oh, well, I missed my chance or whatever. It's like, no, 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 that's not, no, that was, that was a dick move. If you sit there and say you're going to spend time with someone, you're going to hang out with someone, and you don't call them for like a month, like not even a text, not even a, hey, how you doing or whatever, I didn't forget, I was away, something, like, and, <laughs> seriously, that's something that I, and, and granted, I know people, whatever, but I feel like that's something that somebody in their teen, you know, in their teenage, 20s, 30s, late 30s the most would sit there and do that. That's not something that I would expect of his age to do. So I felt like that was, that was, that was kind of a dick move. So they go back and forth or whatever, you know, that didn't have, that didn't satisfy um, Bonnie and Bonnie says some joke like, oh, well, and she said this weird joke. And I gotta sit there and say for a soap opera, I didn't think they were gonna take it there. I really didn't think it was gonna take it there. It's like, oh, I can play the field, you know, because I got two hands, just like I got two. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> where where are we going with this joke? Cause this this doesn't seem like that's 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 network appropriate. Um so that threw me off. But, you know, they, they talk or whatever for a little bit. And, then, you know, they decide, well, Bonnie decides that they should have a full-blown date. Um, so there's that. Um, now what else happened? Uh, last scene that we're going to get to, and the, that's the Rafe and um, Abe stuff. No, that's not the last scene. Um, that's next to the last scene. Um, so pretty much, I felt like their scenes were sort of filler a little bit. But all that really happens with Abe and Rafe is that they catch up on stuff. And then Rafe tells us something that happened off screen that, she, that he found hope. And she wasn't ready to come back to Salem. And she wasn't ready to get back into a relationship with him because she wasn't ready and... I was like, cool, that's amazing, that's great. I wish I would have saw that, but I guess I'll just have to take your word for it. Okay, sure. Um, and then after that, you know, Abe offers his job back. You know, he's like, you know, would you like to be a commissioner? And I'm sitting there thinking, like, okay, I know I didn't watch this soap opera for that long, but wasn't he already the commissioner? So, I mean, they get to the point where it's like, yeah, you can pretty much have your old job back. And after, like, a commercial break is, you know, we really needed that on a cliffhanger. Um, Rafe is like, he'll do it. Because he needs to do it. Because let's, let's be honest. Um, we, uh, Gabby's already gone. She came back for, like, a day, which I'm going to be honest, was just everyone. I felt like that just wasted everyone's time. But, okay, sure. Um, and, yeah, so Rafe took back his job. And he knows about, um, well, pretty much everything. Um, because Abe was like, you know, give me the, I mean, because Rafe was like, give me the cliff notes. Commercial break comes back. Oh, wow, you got all that in the cliff notes? <laughs> the whole Ali and Trip and, and Ava Vitaly coming back? Wow, that's, you really summed it up pretty good. Um, and that was about it. That was about it. So, you saw Hope and... She pretty much wasn't ready, and that pretty much ended that. Again, I felt like it was somewhat filler, but, you know, at least Rafe is going to be back into this whole show. Um, side note on Rafe. There is something about Rafe's voice that sounds so familiar. And I don't know if anyone knows about this show called Jag, but there's a character named Harmon. And I swear that these guys must be brothers 
Because the actor that plays Harmon and Rafe, they sound like nearly the exact same person. It's on a show called Jag. I don't know if anyone ever watched it, but if you have, then yeah. Um, now, I think the last scene is with um, Jake, Chad, and um, Jake, Chad, and Kate. So, once again, Kate and Jake fell asleep in the garage. They wake up, and Kate is all like, oh, you know, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about Gabby? Do you want to be back with Gabby? And, you know, Jake makes his feelings clear once again. But before they can really sit there and talk stuff out, Chad comes in. Now, I I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not really seeing a lot of good qualities in Chad. I mean, he's not a terrible person, but he does come across as... Very arrogant. He tends to look down upon people. And I just... I'm not a fan of his attitude. Like, I'm really not a fan of his attitude. Maybe it's just the fact that he just comes across so... Like he's better than everyone else. That I'm just not really feeling. Again, not a terrible character. But not a lot of qualities so far that I like about him. I mean, hell. To some extent... I don't know which one actually dislike more him or Philip actually. How actually Philip was actually being somewhat of a decent person yesterday, so that's I don't know. Um So anyway Chad comes knocking at the door. Kate hides and Chad and um Jake start going at it like pretty much two cats again because reasons. And they're talking about tomorrow or the business tomorrow, whatever. And then, um, you know, you talk about Gabby, and, you know, Chad's all like, oh, so, did you talk to Gabby? What did y'all do? Yada, yada, yada. I'm like, bro. <laughs> like, first of all, what's with the third degree? And second of all, when did he start answering to you? Um, so they go back and forth about, um, <sighs> Gabby. Took me a minute. And then, um... Jake says something along the lines of, because when, when Chad was like, oh, so did y'all, you know, do the devil's tango or play mattress tag or whatever, Jake was like, no, I was with, uh, you know, I was with Gwen, you know, I did that with her. And so, for whatever odd reason, he bought that or something, and at some point he left, and I'm not going to lie, I kind of wasn't really paying that much attention. So he left, and um, that's when Kate came back out, and, you know, Jake was like, you know, my films are clear for you, and, you know, we shouldn't hide, you know, this from um, Chad, and then, you know, Kate was like, no, listen, you know, we either gotta break stuff off, or you gotta kinda keep playing the game, and so Jake decided to keep playing the game. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought at some point... Like, I really thought that today was going to be the day, like, yo, listen, we either come out public or we're good. But I do feel like at some point, he's going to give her an ultimatum. He is. He's either A, he's going to give her an ultimatum, or B, which most likely is B, um, Chad is going to find out and, you know, be in one of his little tantrums or whatever. Um, so anyway, they kiss and make up or whatever, or they kiss and... So at some point, Chad... Is in the living room, and he's look like he's about to start talking to a painting because apparently that's what people do in that house. And I guess he noticed like a scarf or something, and you know he starts getting all paranoid about Jake again and everything like that. And when Abigail comes back, you know she's talking about the kids and the puzzle or whatever. Chad just flats out asks her, "So you having an affair with Jake?" Hi, how you doing? Nothing, just... Okay, um... I mean, I do admire the fact that he just went straight to the point. I, I... I give him points for that, if nothing else, but, like... Wow. You having a fa You having an affair with Jake? First of all... If you're asking her if she's having an affair... An affair is usually kept secret... She doesn't want you to know. So she doesn't want you to know and you ask her flat out. You honestly think that she's just going to be like, yes. Yes, I am. 
You know, I was going to lie to you, but you were so straightforward. Like, what are you... <sighs> so at that point, it just pretty much just ended. And I guess we're going to find out tomorrow about that whole thing that's going to go down. Um, I'm starting to sit there and wonder which one I actually dislike more. <laughs> I mean, Chad and Philip. I mean, yeah, Philip's a man-child, but like... I don't know why, but I'm starting to find him a little more entertaining than Chad, and that's that's saying a lot. Um, because at the end of the day, at least if he's a man child, I can laugh about that. Chad is just, mm. um, and I think that's actually about it. Um, if anyone here that also watches my GH reviews, first of all, I want to apologize, um, because I put the wrong date. And then I noticed it when I was at work, and I was like, oh, and I changed the date, but it was like, I guess at that point, it was like, whoever was going to see it was going to watch it that day. Um, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I mean, I know I had like one glass of wine, but like, I don't think I, I don't think I would like super buzz or anything like that. So I don't understand how, and I actually messed up the date when I was sober, so. I'm also wondering why no I actually said it in the comment section, like, like, somebody could have been like, so, um, yo, bro, the, the, the date is wrong. Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. Um, let me know your thoughts. You know what? I got a question. Now I'm gonna sit there and add. Now I'm gonna sit there and add. Who's the better character, or who's the worser character between Chad and, um, Philip, a.k.a. Manchild? Because I'm starting to, I'm starting to wonder about, about Chad, like, you, uh, you're starting to have some man-child tendencies, just gonna throw it out there. With that being said, I'm gonna go, um, be safe, I will catch you in the next review, which is hopefully tomorrow if I'm not in a lot of, lot of pain, and depending on how much the Novocaine, um, takes effect to